Hey guys, it's Quickie Baby. Welcome to 8.5. The test server just went up today, and I'm going to show you in this video the new tier 10 German medium tank, the Leopard Mark 1. A stunningly beautiful tank, which you can see right here in my garage. And my god, I've played it for a fair few games, and let's just say I really like this tank. Um, just an initial first impression. Are you interested in this tank? It's like an M48 that forgoes some of the extra armor for extra speed and extra accuracy on the gun and reduced aim time on the gun. If that's the kind of thing that you're interested in, a new German medium tank with excellent gun depression, uh, a very accurate gun which has got a very low aim time, high penetration, and slightly worse DPM than the M48, much worse DPM than the T62A, but you make up for that with speed, then this is going to be the tank for you. So let's look at its position in the tree. Obviously it's going to be right at the top. You have to get through the Leopard prototype, the Inden Panzer, and the Alf Panther if you want to go through that route, or you can go from the 3002 DB straight to the Inden Panzer, to the Leopard prototype, and then finally to the Leopard. Let's take a look at its stats. We can see that it's got standard hit points for a tier 10 tank. It's quite light, weighing 40 tons, with an excellent engine power of 830, which means that its horsepower to ton ratio, as we can see here, is 20.52 specific power, which is very fast. This is wonderful when you consider that this tank's top speed limit is 65 kilometers an hour, which means that this horsepower to ton ratio, which is excellent, is going to really allow it to keep up that top speed along the flats, and also try and get close to that along gentle gradients. Its traverse speed is absolutely incredible, 54 degrees a second. And that's one of the last good things I'm going to say so far. Now, its armor. It's only got 70 millimeters of frontal hull armor, 35 on the side and 25 on the rear. This means that HE shots will go in in the rear, HE shots will go in the side, and even high caliber HE rounds could go in on the front. So that means that for large caliber guns firing HE, this is going to be a very juicy target. And also, its flat surfaces mean that if an artillery shell hits it, it's likely to go in and do a hell of a lot of damage. Its turret armor is 52 millimeters on the front, 60 on the side, and 60 on the rear, which is not brilliant. Its mantle is okay. However, extensive testing with high caliber guns on tier 10 tanks show that more or less if you hit this turret, it goes in. Also, some testing shows that this is an easy way to take out the view. The viewports will disrupt the viewing equipment of this tank and also do damage, max damage as well. So, what makes up for this? Well, its turret traverse is okay, 36 degrees. That's slower than the M48 pattern. It's got a great view range of 410, only slightly worse than the M48, but here is where the daddy comes into play. Look at this 105mm, 6.67 rounds a minute, which is higher than the E50M. It's between the E50M and the M48A1. A whopping 268 penetration, 390 alpha damage, which is standard, a wonderful accuracy of 0.3, and a fantastic aim time of 1.9. So, what would I suggest to equip on this tank? Well, if you really want to completely fire on the move and have almost no aim time, you want to be using vert stabs and then your standard rammer and vents. However, maybe you might want to drop out the vertical stabilizers for optics to maximize the tank's amazing view range. All in all, that's a choice that you're going to have to make. This tank as well, soft stats that we can't see here, has amazing gun depression as I'm going to show you in this replay that's coming up. So here we go guys, playing in our Leopard 1, the new tier 10 German medium tank. You can see immediately that I'm using premium consumables, that's because they're going to be purchasable for credits next patch. Each consumable that you see that I've loaded costs 20,000 credits, unless you buy them when they're half price, which I strongly recommend. Just quickly, we can see that there are only tier 10 tanks against us and there's no artillery. I'm using the great top speed of the Leopard and the excellent view range to try and get an, in an initial spot as quickly as I can. And you're just about to see how many tanks that we're going to spot. So there's one, two, three, four, five. I pull back, I go back up, and then we catch the rest.
So I'm thinking there's no artillery, let's just try and use the ridge lines the best we can. And here we can see the excellent gun depression of this tank. And notice how the gun sights don't get very large. Really, this is very accurate with a very fast aim time. So we put our first shell into this guy. We're playing on the test server. He obviously doesn't give a monkeys. He just wants to do a bit of damage before he dies. And we use third person there to get our second shell in him and take out the first tank. During this quiet moment of the game, you can notice at the top of the screen that there's a new UI. We try and shoot the T-62A. We might have taken out his viewport there. But it did no damage. So there's a new UI at the top which shows how many tanks left on the enemy team. Which I think is a great addition. We're just being slightly patient here, waiting for our kill shots. And there we can just see how good this tank is for taking snapshots. We had a very small window to get a shot. I go up here and I make a really big mistake. I'm bouncing, bouncing, bouncing to try and get a shot on the bat chat. And I take nearly a thousand damage and lose my ammo rack there. That was a really poor call by me to try and get a cheeky shot on the bat chat. However, you saw how fast we were able to get out of that situation. With its high horsepower to ton ratio, this tank really does accelerate backwards and forwards very quickly. And its top speed backwards, as we could see there, we were plowing along at 35. Fair enough, it was down a slope. But the reverse speed on this tank is, is simply fantastic. It's very maneuverable. So here we're able to easily snipe at the top of the 100 Jagdpanzer. And just miss a cheeky shell on the Leopard there. And wow, that Leopard 1 really wanted to get some airtime there and took a huge shell. We're going to put our first shell into him. I'm looking around to see if I'm about to get flanked. And I see there's an IS-4. He stopped to get a shot on me, so I'm going to finish him off with basically no aim time. So I'm down to having quite low health. I'm looking like this is quite a grave situation. There's an IS-4 in front of me, and there's a bunch of tanks on my right. I'm worried that the Leopard 1's going to come over and he gets taken out. Somehow the IS-4 misses here, and we put our first shell into him. Here we can see... I track him, I decide to track him because I need to shoot him multiple times to get the kill. And the great traverse speed on this tank, the great engine power, allows us to plow around him. I see that he's turning, so I decide to basically duke him out the other way. And we successfully get the kill outmaneuvering tier 10 heavy tanks. With a fantastic gun that's capable of basically penetrating them every time. I think about trying to get a cheeky shot at this 155. It was not a clever idea. Going at 40 up a slope, 44 up a slope is just simply incredible. I see that this 155 is tunnel visioning. I look quickly to see if uh, the Leopard is going to be behind me. He's not. And we just cheekily go in, check to see where the Leopard's looking again, and our friend finishes off the Fosh. And here we can see the sheer amazing accuracy of this tank and quick aim time allows us to snapshot amazing opportunities on that leopard there. This really is, I, I can't hit it home to you enough how fast the aim time is on this tank and how accurate it is. And look at us chewing through this desert, going down this slope at 70 and then up the slope at 60, over the hill. This is the one thing that I really appreciate in a tank, being able to get around quickly to mop up the kills at the end of the game. And I should have had the kill here on the bat chat. I think there was a kill there, but it was actually a wall in the way. And the game is finished. I do a victory spin, and for some reason the uh, T-57 Heavy is trying to TK me on the test server. So having a quick look at the after game stats now, we can see that we did the most damage in that game. And one thing I will just quickly mention is this is not a mod. This is now the vanilla UI. After the game previously, you could order it by damage taken, I think, or health remaining. Now you can order it by damage done in the game. Vanilla. Which is fantastic addition, in my opinion. I think it's really good that Wargaming are adding in successful mods and incorporating them into their main game. Pretty much just like every other MMO does, really. We got four kills, and 
with our premium account we got one well this is a non-premium account actually 1,171 experience um, I think that game really showcases all the strengths of the Leopard it's able to outmaneuver heavy tanks even quite quick ones like the IS-4 it's able to make punchy reflex shots which I really appreciate its armor is horrific and it will get penetrated nearly every time it gets shot but it has to use its agility and gun depression to be able to put shots on the enemy without taking shots I think this is a fantastic tank and many of you who maybe watch my live stream and also know my opinions about the M48, I love the M48 and I think that this is basically an M48 which is faster slightly less DPM but not considerably less DPM and quite a bit worse hull armor and also the turret armor I think is slightly worse even though you don't have the huge weak point on top of the tank but I fully recommend this Leopard one I think that the stats will stay as they are I think it's fairly balanced the way it is and I can only recommend it if you're the kind of aggressive player who likes to get into forward positions get spots use gun depression to beat the enemy then this is the tank for you and I'm going to be trying my hardest to get one of these tanks as quickly as I can. Guys, I hope you've appreciated this preview. Um, literally the test server was just today. If you've enjoyed this and this has been helpful for you, think about giving it a thumbs up at the bottom. I'd really appreciate it. And tell me what you think in the comments below. Do you think that the Leopard 1 is balanced? Do you think that it's unbalanced? Are you going to get one? Are you going to get a Leopard? Uh, are you? What, what do you think about this tank? Let's have a good discussion about it. I live stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. Think about coming and checking me out on twitch.tv forward slash quickie baby. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video and I'll catch you later.